Well, the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Do this purge and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. the access point. Should lead me to the pump node.
can't reach the way from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. Keep me awake. this point for the second node. the map, the second node should be on the other side of the game. Get me to the second node.
much. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Let's see if that helped. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. should be at the south end of the dome. Be the main end station. But how to get in? It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. I can grab this from my stash later. Did it? <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. At least the purge didn't get rid of all of the water.
Mirage left these machines behind. Let's see if I can deal with a big one first. There's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. when I need it. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! All the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revelin. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Simon so should be somewhere beyond the store. Okay. The 
Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Crew must have headed back up top. That's all the windows they could carry. Must have built this before the place flooded. Wants to work. And I seem to have to climb back up.
whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. Is that? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized, his old Gramps legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages, all thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Noth could use a hand dealing with these rubbers. If the Banuk can survive freezing, so can I. Anytime they wanted. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. I wouldn't want my Aunt Alga knowing she could just talk to me every second of the day. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Can you come down? 
downstairs. Beta has some thing you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. I'm back, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. What would you like to discuss? Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen, before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. Turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved? Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... Waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. There. Let's see what we got. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality, should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout.
I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. painted their faces with something called Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man! She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. 
she'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. I think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space.
get it? Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. It's you. Hey, I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well, keep at it, I guess. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I... I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the Hot Zone Crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asks me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. 
That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach, anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well... I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just... try not to get hurt. I see someone's been playing Strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Katalo. It's a Tanakh game, maybe you'll learn something. Oh, uh, sure, Tanakh. Sure you won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell... ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. Seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff. In bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Uh, let's do it. We can play another time if you want. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You'll be careful out there. Hey, got a sec? Of course. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. 
I had thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding, any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. What? Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering, what do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but... She could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. Found anything else combing through that data? 
Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the Old World. Apparently, there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the Old Ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. This has did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. I should get going. Good luck on your search. One of Studius Fordis's many schools. There's a pain getting him to Paralyte. Still, he didn't deserve to be run down by Regola's writers. Is it me, or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? Yeah, they're close. They're weird. They're so huh. tight. The door's unlocked now. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreation for control center operatives. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful warm-up. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway... The Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. It must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. 
What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Why did to cope? I'd be I'd after said even though it was so I'm, I'm I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. Oh. Looks like I can open that door now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Me, Outlander. I've got something to tell you. You should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the west. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Getting rid of those outposts. 